Hmm. I guess it's time for a hard drive. I've decided I want to max out the drive size that I installed into my Unified Dream Machine Pro, but what does Ubiquity have to say regarding maximum drive size compatibility? Well, according to their site, Ubiquity has tested and verified hard drives containing up to 16 terabytes of storage. They also say, please note, however, that maximum storage threshold has not been confirmed for any application or hard drive model. I wonder if I could go even higher. As of the making of this video, the largest consumer hard drives available are 18 and 20 terabytes. So let's check some out. We'll go ahead and load up the Seagate site and we'll load up the Western Digital site and see what they have to offer. All right, for the Seagate site, it looks like I have a choice of their Skyhawk line or their Exos X Enterprise line. Of the three loaded onto the page now, it looks like their AI version of Skyhawk uh, has the higher capacities of 18 terabytes and 20 terabytes. Same with their Exos line. What's important to me is their workload rating, which are equivalent at 550 terabytes a year. And they both have five years of warranty. The three-year data recovery is not too important to me, so I think I can go with either the AI or the Exos. So now let's look up the Western Digital Purple. On the Western Digital Purple front, it looks like they also have a 550 terabyte year workload rating, so that's really good. I know the Western Digital Purple and Seagate Skyhawk are purposely built for surveillance video recording, so let's load up PC Part Picker and check out the deal on Mac storage. The Seagate Exos X18 Enterprise Drive seems to be the winner here, and the best bang for the buck in storage and performance. We know Enterprise Drives are robust and durable, seeing as they need to be used in data centers processing all that data in racks jam-packed with several others, and they achieve this with extra features built in to safeguard their reliability. Let's go for the X18 18TB drive route, as the extra 2TB for the higher 20TB drive for another 200 or so dollars doesn't seem cost effective in my situation. Looks like Newegg is the best deal, so let's go ahead and buy there. Hey, hey, it's finally here. Terabytes. All right, let's go ahead and pop this in. Now that we have our hard drive, let's go ahead and throw this puppy in. Let's go ahead and shut this thing down. Let's go ahead and pop this in and power the UDM Pro back up. All right, looks like it's powering up and the drive is formatting. Uh, once it's done fully booting, we'll go over to the console and check protect to see if the 18 terabytes is showing up in the console. Now let's log into the Unify OS console and get into protect to see if that Seagate Exos X18 18 terabyte is loaded and recognized. It's been a couple hours since I loaded the drive into the UDM Pro, and as you can see, I have a couple of video clips recorded. And under storage utilization, you'll see that I have 17.9 terabytes of recording capacity. 
So the Ubiquity website said they tested up to 16 terabytes, but as you can see, you could definitely go up to 18 and possibly even 20. I was doing some research to see if uh, I could get past the 16, but I couldn't find anything definitive, so I decided to try this myself. And as you can see, you can definitely go above the 16 terabytes that they tested with at Ubiquity to you know 18 and possibly even the 20 terabytes without issue. Anyways, if you have any uh, questions or comments for me, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.